Hello, Mac Vaughn here again with another tech tip. Uh, continuing where I left off from our last uh, tip, uh, one of the things that um, uh, Ableton does really well that a lot of people don't know about um, is that it's got a really cool resampling feature. Um, it's uh, really good to use for like a quick and dirty bounce. And I know that, um, let's see, let's, let's move our uh, parts over here to this side. Uh, so we'll go like this. So I'm just going to show you a cool little trick here. Um, so say you've got, um, you know, a pattern uh, running. Um, and I know some people don't have, um, you know, systems that allow them to run uh, really heavy um, plugins and VSTs. So one of the things that you can do is you can bounce down your uh, audio part um, to make one file instead of having it uh, running as a VST. And most people know you can right click and you can freeze the track, which of course this went pretty quick. And then you can, uh, you can, you can flatten that and that'll give you your wave, which is really quick. Uh, there's another thing that you can do as well. Um, and you can add an audio track here and you can choose in this drop down menu you can choose resampling and what resampling does is it's basically going to pick up anything it'll record anything that's coming out of your master fader that's the best way to think about it so um, if i arm it and i say record I got exactly what was coming out of the master fader. Which is a really cool way to, you know, resample. But let's say I just want to go ahead and, um, you know, uh, um, record this bass line down. What I can do is uh, I can solo the part that I want to resample and I can just record that in really quickly. Yeah, um, this works really well too with um, hardware synths um, that come with you know VST uh, counterparts um, like Virus. Uh, I'll just show you another example real quick. And my luck, it probably would be broken because half the time this uh, Virus TI system never works. Okay, that's fine. All right, well, here, let's do what it says. And we'll go down to 512. Okay, cool. So, uh, for instance, I'll show you here. Um, if I copy this down here and play it, and let's just go find a, a better sound here. Category, bass. What's this one do? Sure. Right? So for something like this, if I right click and I hit freeze track, and then I flatten, there's nothing in here. Because the virus sits outside of uh, the, um, uh, the computer. So again, this is where Resampling comes in very handy. So again, I can click here and hit the record. Uh, what happened? Oh, it's because it's flattened. Or uh, let's see, let's unfreeze it. Here we go. Let's try that again. Oops. Okay, so we're recording here and soloing the virus. And there you have it. So now we've got that recorded in. So anyway, there you have it. That is another little uh, useful tech tip for you. And I will see you next time. Thank you.
thanks everybody for watching commenting and indeed liking we really do appreciate all the support we get here on our sonic academy youtube channel so if you find this video super useful please we'd love you to hit the subscribe button we update the uh, youtube channel every week with new content and if you want to watch some more relevant content just click on the videos beside me